hello guys once again you are welcome to this very channel kindly do also subscribe turn on post notifications and also share the link for someone to come and see what is going on on this very channel it's such always a pleasure to have you join me on this very channel to help or to allow me to give you the opportunity to tell you about what is going on in ghana sports and also african sports at large kindly don't forget to like the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications by pressing on the bell and selecting all with that you will always be notified whenever we post a new video on this very channel yes it's just another day for me to bring you updates from what is happening this is the period of african games the 13th edition of african games this is a period about 23 days away so everything concerning african games you would actually get it on this channel with that don't forget or don't miss out so subscribe like the video turn on post notifications and also share the link for someone to also come and watch what is going on on this very channel so national sports authority things are coming up from the news update are coming up from the boss of national sports authority professor peter chumis has spoken after the commissioning of the Potiman sports complex which will be a facility to host the, a lot of the games when it comes to the african games which is set to take place from 8th march to 23rd march or bring you what he said verbatim i mean word for word or you bring you the video in this very video then you get to see also there have been a change of venue in the opening ceremony of the african games which was set to take place on 8th march so the opening ceremony the venue has been changed has been moved from somewhere to where where has the venue been moved from and where has it been moved to this and why the venue has been moved or changed to the new venue we bring you why it has been changed and the reasons behind every decision taken here and other decisions also the save gun after the demonstration is just a day away it's now it's some hours away it's some hours away for us to protest to the football administrators and the football people of this country that we are not happy with how they are managing or running our football in this very country today i saw the gfo president Mr. Kate Edwin Simon Okriku at the commissioning of the Boteman Sports Complex. I don't know what he was thinking or if he was happy when he saw such a project and then looking at the projects in his sporting discipline, which is football. We will leave that as a question for the gods. So, this and many more are what we are going to discuss in this very video. So, can you stay with me and let's get right into it. So, let's start and the commissioning of the Boteman Sports Complex yet took place today the first president or the first gentleman of the nation his excellency nana adodankwa ekofu ado was present to commissioning or to make sure the program or the program was a success today he came with his convoy as usual and he was looking so fresh and then other things the president is really enjoying all so the president was there to commission the project and then he started with the aquatic center I mean, the swimming stadium. Yes, do you, maybe you didn't know Ghana now has a swimming stadium. Stadium Aokwa in Siongkwan or no more swimming. Yes, you can you can, I just say, um, tracks, you no know, athletic tracks, and you can just for swimming. So the president was there to cut sword. We have the video um, in our previous content. So you can check it on this very video. So we are bring you excerpt from that every year. So Professor Chumesi spoke after the commission and you know maintaining sports infrastructure has been a problem in this country so we actually wanted to engage the nsa boss professor chumisi to inquire how he was going to manage this very project and actually he has spoken what he said is that he assured us that he's going to maintain this very project and everything he said and so so we went to him and he said prof how are you going to maintain this very project and I said, oh let's listen to prof minkoti prof let's listen and let's get back after that. Come on, doing mommy. If you trust what you're saying or not, so let's go and listen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, 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 at long last, uh, everything is set, and uh, the African Games uh, is on the way to, to Ghana uh, for the first time uh, since 1965. And I think if you look at the edifices here, uh, they are happening in many different uh, venues, but this particular one is uh, exceptional because it was uh, started from scratch. Everything you see here is new. Uh, thanks to the president, President Nana, for, for supporting us, the minister, and all the others, all the others, and the Ghanaians, of course, the Ghanaians, and they've done so well. Yes. Well, will you promise Ghanaians that maintenance will be Oh, no, no, definitely so. I think that uh, 
uh, usually most of the facilities we did have uh, never had uh, the maintenance plan and therefore there wasn't most of them any budgetary allocation for maintenance but this particular one i think the contractor like all the others that he have been putting up uh, they are also generating the maintenance uh, manual which also feed into the budgetary uh, preparations every year year after year so once these funds are available definitely why not there will always be a uh, Sure yes, so that was the NSA boss, National Sports Authority boss, telling us or showing us how he's going to maintain this very project. How he's speaking, none of us answering the ass or the agro. Because how, why can you be talking and then be smiling like this? Is it that or the agro one? Or is he's playing with that switches one? And I say, when you saw the project, on who said that I come as something in the with the project now. Is it that E or B? So let me know which one do you think um, made Professor Chumessi was making him smell like that. So wow. Um, and before engaging him, no, I even dropped the conversation. So the conversation was between all the members of the LOC and uh, Adam for B and uh, Nicole B. And then he was like, before the commission the um, facility, Professor Chumessi came to them that they should give him the opportunity or the chance to manage the facility even for months. It's, and I'm referring back to Accra Sports Stadium without the facility is currently. So I'm say after that, you just keep quiet and cash you. But Professor Chumisi, I'm so sure he say he will do and maintain the project very well after it has been handed over to him after the game. Since I think today is a tough test for Professor Chumisi. If indeed he's able to handle it very well, maintain it very well, and it has, or it will be converted into the sports university as they see to be something greater that Ghana would actually benefit from it so the change in venue you know and so about with the opening ceremony you know, you'll get to know how or why the venue was changed i spoke to someone this is breaking you might not have heard it everywhere or anywhere um change in venue you know the opening ceremony was supposed to happen on the 8th 8th of march 2023 the opening ceremony was supposed to happen on 8th march 2023 at the across post initially the plan was that initially you know across post will be hosting opening ceremony you know but today, per my conversations, you no know, interactions, you no, know, I got to know that the opening ceremony venue has been changed. It is yet to be confirmed, but I'm confirming it for you because because of you guys. So it is yet to be confirmed, but I'm confirming it that the opening ceremony has been changed from the Accra Sports Stadium to University of Ghana Sports Stadium. So 8th March, the opening ceremony will be held at the University of Ghana sporting and why you asking yourself why I think no one of the reasons why it has mentioned because of the current state of the Accra sports team we can't take the foreigners there or the participating nations for the other African countries there to go and disgrace ourselves so to avoid disgrace let's just take it to the University of Ghana sports team, which is should I say new so that is why the venue has been changed to the University of Ghana sports stadium also one is asking what are the sporting disciplines that we are going to be con uh, they are going to be contested for in this very tournament there are a total of 23 sporting disciplines that we have in competition for this tournament we have arm wrestling athletics badminton basketball beach volleyball volleyball cricket cycling diving field hockey football netball judo karate rugby squash swimming table tennis taekwondo tennis volleyball weightlifting and wrestling so these are the 23 sporting disciplines which will be contested for in this very tournament let me know which one you think ghana will win or which one you think you can represent ghana in over there also there are lots of things also going on and save ghana football demonstration is finally here it's tomorrow 14th february 2024 it's lavez day we are doing it on lavez day because we want to tell people that we really love football football is the only thing we love in ghana not even our girlfriends our concubines or our wives so that is why we are having this demonstration on 14th February 2024, which is supposed to be Lambe's Day or Valentine's Day. So kindly meet us at Obra Sports Circle at 9 a.m. May I'll be there at 5 a.m. to wait for you. So you can join me at 5 a.m. to wait and protest against how Ghana football has been managing his very country. Or you can join me at 9 a.m. to protest. When you're coming, wear your black, your black, wear your black, or being red, and representing your mommy in danger caution and valentine's day and for this very um activity we should go on tomorrow so that is it for ghana demonstration or save ghana the demonstration ghana football demonstration <laughs> So 
So this is what I had for you in this very video. Kindly don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on post notifications. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video for now. Kindly get your guys safe Ghana football demonstration sheets ready. Meet us at our for tomorrow. And I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching. It's a bye. You hold on, what just so no name can go on. Tell me, Wednesday, Yami Abdu, I'm a prophet Nigel Gazi, the bar of brass, let them be life. Because save Ghana football, we have to do it now. Put black stars in Koyi, or man, be Bian Koyi, to demonstrate the way. We are Ghana here, 9 a.m. We are caught GFE, we are caught catcher almost there. No more, you know. As I see, I build a proof with black star football on merit. I see, I build a black star football as the passion of the nation.